forecast first. Well, while we continue to be amazed by our awesome fall like weather here, Hurricane Irma continues to amaze us as well. I'll get to that in just a second, but tonight clear skies, cool temperatures, many of us in the 50s and probably thinking about long sleeves. We were two degrees away this morning from a record low, but the record setting hurricane continues to cause problems well to our south. We'll start with just the eye test. We just got the latest information from the Hurricane Center, but I just want you to look at the storm tonight and there you can see the eye and watch it with me as the eye is literally falling into the coast of Cuba. That should give some more changes to this system down the road, but we're also starting to see outer rain bands move into the southern part of Florida. So literally just seconds ago we got the new information from the National Hurricane Center and Irma is once again a category 5 hurricane winds went up to 160 miles per hour still moving to the west at 13 which is very important because that means it's going to move inland in Cuba which will eventually cause some weakening even though it didn't happen tonight and again the track has shifted west again it will weaken some from its category 5 status now but still eventually turn north as a category 4 hurricane moving through the peninsula of Florida and then eventually on north. The red line is the current track, the white line from the most previous one. And as you can see, there was another shift to the west. What does this mean for us? I'll break down that and look at the computer models. They're interesting too in just a few minutes. Break